it's Jan Howe from YouMakeItSimple.com. Welcome back to my channel. In this craft tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect yarn pom-poms. I'll go over three different sizes and two very simple methods that you can use. At the end of the video, I'll go over some fun ideas and ways that you can use these pom-poms. So without any further ado, let's get this tutorial rolling. First, let's go over the few items that you'll need. Yarn, of course, a regular fork, a serving fork that's a little bit bigger, and two upcycled toilet paper rolls. You'll need a sheet of oak tag, or I like to recycle boxes, cracker boxes, or cereal boxes, a pair of sharp fabric scissors, and a pair of paper scissors, and a wide mouth canning jar. And grab a cookie sheet to have handy. This just keeps the mess contained, and it's a good thing if you wanna do this on the road or watching a TV show or something. The first method that we'll go over is how to make these mini pom-poms. Aren't they just so cute? And we'll be using the small fork. Take your fork, your yarn. We're just gonna start wrapping it around the fork. You don't wanna wrap it too tight. And just wrap until you have about that thickness and that plumpness. And take another piece of yarn about 12 inches without letting the bunch of yarn come off the fork. Just scoot it up a little bit so this bottom prong center is exposed and stick that thread down in the middle and pull it out the other side. And bring that thread up between the middle prongs and we'll be just tying a knot. But the knot we're going to use is significant in keeping it tight and not letting it get loose, which is a really a, a problem when you're just tying a regular knot. So I'm gonna wrap that around twice and then pull it. You wanna pull it too tight that it breaks the thread, but pull it pretty tight. Slide the yarn off the fork and take those ties and bring them to the other side. And we'll do the same thing, making another knot, wrapping it twice. And then pulling it tight. And that'll cinch it up pretty good. And then you'll just tie a regular knot. And cut those. Take your scissors. Just start clipping those loops. It helps to have a really sharp pair of scissors. Now the job is a lot easier if you have a pair of scissors that are sharp. Now these are my craft scissors and they they get kind of dull. You're using them for paper and other things. And if you want to sharpen them, let me show you a trick. I probably wouldn't do this on my expensive pair of Ginger scissors. I would take them to the shop and have them professionally sharpened, but it does work well for my craft scissors is to take a piece of aluminum, fold it a couple times, and then just make some cuts with it. You wanna cut all the way down. And this really does help. And there's nothing worse than cutting this yarn without sharp scissors. There's another little fun tip. And this is where we'll shape just by starting to cut. And you can fold it the other way, and mash it down, and you can see where you need to trim to get that circle even. And you just keep trimming. 
until it's to your liking. Size number two is using that larger fork. Same thing, Just wrap it around. Now to make that larger size and the second method, grab your box paper and your glass. I'm just gonna trace around it. We're gonna do that twice. We're gonna make two of these. Using your paper scissors, Cut those out. Set those aside for a minute and grab your two toilet paper rolls. The end of your yarn. Just gonna bring that up through the middle. Just let that drape down and start wrapping. Again, you don't want to wrap it too tight. So you can see how thick that is. Take your, that strip of thread, it's about 12 inches or more, and then slide it down, leave about a six inch tail, and then slide it between the two cardboard tubes, and down the other, and around the other side. We're gonna make that double knot, double wrap. And then slide off your tubes. And we'll pull that really tight. Flip it. Another double wrap. And pull it. You want to pull it tight, but not tight enough to break the yarn. And give it a knot. Pull those edges out to the side. And let's clip all those loops. So it depends what you want your pom-pom to look like. If you want a floppy pom-pom like this, you can just trim off the edges. I want a more tight ball. So I'm going to use these templates. I'm gonna find the center and flatten out the yarn. And bring my template on top and try to just center it. And then I'll bring the other one on top. I'm gonna center Make sure they're even. And you can just simply trim around it. I'm gonna flip it sideways. Flatten out the edges again. I'm gonna give it a, get it at different angles so it's symmetrical. going to continue to do that three or four times until it you feel like it's even. Just kind of keep tweaking it until it's to your liking. And if I wanted it a little bit more plump, I kind of run out of yarn, you just wrap it a little bit more. Now if you want to make a variegated pom-pom with two or three different colors, you can wrap two colors of yarn process goes a lot faster and they're quite cute. So we have our three different sizes. Let's go over the things that you can do with these cute little pom-poms. You can use them to decorate packages and gifts. You can make a cute garland. 
either vertical or horizontal garland that's way cute hanging in a kid's room or any place that you want to add a little splash of color. You can sew one of these pom-poms on a headband. They're really cute on infants and children. You can put a handful in a small basket for display and cats love playing with the mini size pom-poms. You can embellish any zipper pull tag with a cute pom-pom and make sure you stay tuned for my zipper pouch tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do that. Click on the bell and the notification so you can be notified when I put new things up. Get out your yarn, a sharp pair of scissors, and have fun making pom-poms. We'll see you next time.